much better Tuesday. More attention to detail, more consistency. Uh, thought Bobo looked really good. Thought he played good. Uh, thought Rashad did some good things. Our young receivers thought Travis was okay. Pig and Ehrman are coming. Uh, in that regard, I thought Pender and Dalvin practiced well along with Carlos on that side. Defensively, uh, some of the young DBs flashed Jalen, some of the up front guys, Terrence Smith. Uh, thought it was a good Tuesday, a lot of work, got a lot of situations in. Defense got to be very disciplined, got to play uh, gap control, man control, keep leverage on the football, dive pitch option, and uh, quarterback, and make sure they do that. But uh, much better practice, in my opinion. Question. Important for those receivers to take some strikes? Oh, yeah. But I'm not, I wasn't totally disappointed in those receivers. You know, last week, I mean, Pop had, we had 25 receptions in the game. Completed 25 balls. That's a lot of balls to receive in the game. Pop made some plays. Kermit made a few good plays. We got to get better some things. And you know, they give us a lot of reads that left uh, 80 one on one. We were able to get the ball to him. They're going, people start doing taking that away, but we'll go back. The reads that Pop's got weren't designed to go to him. He read it, made the big play over the top. So, uh, from that standard, I'm not disappointed at all, but I've been, uh, they're getting better. They're getting better. Even at 5'9", what makes Bobo a, a threat on the outside? Extremely fast, can run, can judge a ball, strong, got great body quick, stick his foot in the ground, change direction. Very good route runner, very, becoming a very polished route runner. TJ was out today. How's he doing? Good. We, he just he had that, a lot of strain in that game on that leg, so we're resting it for a day or two, a couple days here. We'll see how we play it out. But uh, he had a lot of reps in there at corner and carrying that leg, and we knew he was going to have to. So. Kane Dahl was in a boot. Is what, what broke a toe. Okay. Is he, is got he stepped on in practice. <laughs> and so he's got a broke toe, so to what heals up. Is there any timeline for that? Or? I don't know. <laughs> I Do I look this AMD? <laughs> By my name? <laughs> no, I'm sure. no, I don't. I, don't I, I mean, that could be two weeks, three weeks, four. I mean, just I, you know, those toes can be. How are they healed? I know the, the offensive line didn't play up their potential, but how much does it help that they are guys that they know that they're talented? They know oh, they, they know they're play. talented. They know what to do, and they know that they didn't play like they could have played. At times, played well, but didn't. I mean, you know, and they'll get better. Those skies not falling, and they'll play better, and we'll get better, and. Thought today did a real nice job. Thought we blocked well. Thought we had good hat on hat, good angles. Back to fundamentals. Stay healthy. You mentioned Citadel's offensive scheme. Uh, how much preparation do you spend when it's kind of an unorthodox type of offense? Oh, a lot. That's a that's a ton now. I mean, it's a ton of meeting time stuff. We did. we had plans in it from the summer and to be able to come out here and install all these guys because that is that is a pain in the tail now. I mean, it's very disciplined and and you, you know they know all the little tricks and things off of that. So we're going to have to play really good, very disciplined and physical at the same time. Is that good for you guys? I know you talked about gap control. Is it kind of a... All of it's gap control. I mean, all football and defense is gap control. Everybody's got to be responsible. And you can't, but well, the thing about it is, like you have your gap, but then you can't go jumping out of your gap and get greedy and want to make a play. And that happened to us last year a bunch early. You remember Timmy. Timmy, a lot of the things, as great as Timmy was last year, the first two or three games, a lot of the runs that came out early were Timmy trying to go make plays. And you got to stay in there, then learn to play within the scheme and go. I mean, not not criticizing Timmy, but that, and it's natural instinct sometimes. You got to just be disciplined and, and stay in it. Is that one of those things? I mean, Eddie was talking about it the other day. You don't have those problems at practice because it's not the same. You're not necessarily trying to, you know, running off of adrenaline. You know, like maybe in a game. Exactly. Sometimes you when you keep wanting to show out, it's game time. I want to, and you got to keep the poise and composure. You do in practice, but that adrenaline and you want to make a play and you want to, you know what I mean. Sometimes you want to win. But you should, you gotta think the same way in practice. What I try to tell them about practice. Practice, the same mentality has to be carried to the game as in practice. And that's what they gotta look at, they consistently learn. After some of the problems you guys had with gap control on Saturday, is this a good opportunity to kind of get all that out? Well, it is no matter who you play. I mean, it really is no matter who you play as far as that goes. And like I say, our problems with it weren't we weren't in them, we were in them and got out of them. And that's, and that's a difference. So you know where to go, you just gotta be patient. You gotta slow down and let the other guys fit and, and let the ball just kind of bounce. And then we got to set the edges better. Now, that's one thing we did. We, we did today, worked on setting edges on the, on the perimeter better. We didn't do that as well as we needed to, no doubt. How thin of a line is it between staying patient Extreme. and then going and grabbing that play when it's there? Because it seems like a no, split second No, when it's decision. there, it's there. When it's not in your gap, it ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, you, it's called discipline. And that's the thing about people, well, you know, you don't rush a passer, you don't get a pass. Well, also you rush up field, you give running lanes for a, or a running quarterback. When you match routes down the field, man to man, like we do in coverage, while we get all them interceptions, and you break out, quarterback runs for 30 yards. So you can't say go sack the quarterback and cover everybody on the back end and the way you match up zone coverages, that, that doesn't all tie together. So, you know, all those things, understanding what coverage you're in, how you rush, other times you'd be in spot zone, you can go rush a quarterback. I mean, it's all, 
just like in just like in run control. There's a fine when it's there and it comes to your gap and you can disengage and not give up a gap, then you engage and make the play. Is it less than ideal to have an option team right after a big game and then right before a big game? Uh, option teams are a pain no matter when they are. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta be willing to do all the work. Tim, did you see the leader step up that you learned to step up this week? Yeah, some. I mean, they're in practice have been good, doing all right. I mean, getting on guys, the practices are much better. As far as the practices weren't bad before, it's not. I say they were bad, and I said they were good. They were fine, but we didn't have enough detail. I mean, there was not enough consistent. I mean, small, small detail, and then little things can make a difference. But those guys are getting up. Our guys, our older guys, are being vocal.